they can uh, die within 10 minutes in this heat wave. A return of the heat wave in the BC interior means it's time for pet owners to make sure they're keeping their furry friends cool and safe. There's a lot of options out there. Dogs don't typically notice the temperature, so you got to make sure there's lots of shade, lots of water available, um, a lot of downtime to avoid the hotter times of the day. We try and do most of our activities early morning, late afternoon, uh, evenings even. Um, going to the dog beach is always a great idea. We like to take groups out there and just let them swim for 20 minutes. It's really fun to swim with the dogs. They have a great time out there. The BC SBCA advises people to be mindful of your pets during the hot summer and avoid walking dogs in high temperatures during the day when the ground is at its hottest. If it's 31 degrees in the air, the pavement is 62 degrees Celsius. They can burn their feet. And also even on the beach, the sand gets really hot. If you're walking on the beach by yourself, you know how hot the sand gets on your feet. It's the same as dogs. Um, don't run them in the middle of the day beside your bicycle or, you know, even walking them. Just make sure they're a very short walk. Some people think that their dogs need exercise and that's not always the case. So you're doing more harm than good in certain circumstances. Um, hot sidewalks, hot pavement, if, you know, if you're walking barefoot and you can't stand it, it's not good for your dog either. So you really got to be conscious of, of their best interests and the timing of the day is definitely key too. You want to avoid the, the highest temperatures at all costs and if your dog needs to stay inside or, or avoid that hike for one day, then it's not going to hurt them. And with soaring temperatures expected this week across the province, owners are reminded that leaving a pet in a vehicle could be a death sentence. We have seen calls. We do every year. We always see hot dog calls all the time. Um, it's just best to leave them at home. They might want to, they might cry and they want to come with you, but the best bet is just to leave them at home. They'll be happy to see you when you get back. If you see an animal showing signs of heat stroke or distress, call the BC SBCA Centre during business hours or contact your local animal control agency or police. For Castnet News, I'm Casey Richardson.